Hello drivers, today's video is about the secret or at least a new character's animations of Driver 3 and how to re-enable them in the game. Maybe the most needed one from this batch is the arrested animation, which will obviously be used when the cops are arresting you. In the final game, you are just standing there still. On a side note, it can also give the impression you are chasing civilians like a ghost, or you can act like an American stereotype by firing your gun in the air. Depending on how you re-enable the animation, it can have strange results with NPCs such as the cops. Anyway, this shows once more a rush towards Driver 3 in the end of its production as the important animation does exist in the files but didn't make it into the final game. Let's move on with another set of interesting animation that were sadly cut off as well, the overlay package. The best one of the bundle is called Curse as it will allow the civilian to better react from traffic accidents or on foot near collisions with a car. The overlay name might imply that Tanner could have the ability to select one of the animations directly in the HUD in-game, but I might be overseeking this trying to find the use of these animations. There is also a yes and no animation which are basic nods but that will add life to the characters. But I'm still wondering their real purposes before they were cut, although still in the game files. The last two animations from the overlay bundle are sadly not in the game anymore, meaning that the game will crash if you try to use them. Jester and Confused, as they are called, would have certainly expanded the possible interactions with the characters. Another unused animation is related to male idol variation. Apparently, they were able to sink in addition to tap their foot, look at their watch, or scratch their neck. I'm talking about male animations because Driver 3 distinguishes between male and female animation as they are using different skeletons. In this matter, I'm almost certain I already saw women using the sync idol animation, but I might be wrong as the animations are a bit different between male and female and it is harder to get a woman pedestrian to use the idol animation. Let's broad bit the topic of the video to talk about animations that are used in the final game but not enough in my opinion, and how to demonstrate this better than with the surrender position. In the game you will only see it in the ending in-game cutscene of another lead when you cocked, the drug dealer in Grand Bazaar. Don't kill me. If you are looking for Lomas, I can tell you where to find him and the ending in-game cutscene of the chase, but only if you follow Kalita until a hideout, which is far from being what most players do in this mission. Rewatching my videos of the rarest cutscenes, it appears she isn't really using the animation, but rather she is frozen in the surrounding position. Nonetheless, the animation could have been used by pedestrians during take a ride when they are held at gunpoint, for example. Again, this would have made them more believable as living characters instead of empty shell running around endlessly. Others one used animations that can also be used in Take a Ride include holding a phone, looking around that is only used in the in-game cutscene of Unted. or tapping on the computer like the cop from Police HQ. All these animations open new opportunities to convey different emotions, interesting if you want to make a Machinima video. Thus, let's see how to do it so you can also have fun with the animations, secret, unused or not. As often with driver tree modding, we can thank Klanschnik who has a lot of knowledge on handling driver tree files. I emphasize this because modding driver tree is very tricky and you might expect the game to crash a lot if the files are not exactly how the game wants them to be. All the job will be done in animation lookup text file located in the anims folder in your driver tree directory. Open it with notepad and you will see a lot of things. 
Be sure to do a backup before doing any changes because you will inevitably make a mess of this file if you experiment it by yourself. I will show you the easiest way to get the animations but you can also find different ways to use this file but at your own risk. Anyway, what we are going to edit for the arrested animation, as Clank Niche showed me, is in the carry single right section, which refers to the pistols and one-handed guns. Find the line E act pull out and change the animation related with male arrested. Now every time you will pull out your gun, Tanner will do the arrested animation. Any other characters using a pistol will also use this one as they are shared between them. Now for the Machinima, you may want to change an animation that only affects Tanner to avoid too much craziness in your replays. Thankfully that's possible since Tanner has a specific idle animation found at the beginning of the animation lookup file. He act Tanner idle standing can be changed with the previously mentioned animations from this video, for example with overlay curves that will be triggered each time Tanner is standing still. For the surrounding animation I don't recommend switching the standing animation since it doesn't look right in game but rather the crouch e act idle which is far below in the text file. I don't have tried all the variations yet so maybe there is still a missing working animation in the files but that's already a good chunk of new stuff for today. I would like to thank my current Red Weavers and my film director producers DriverDimension.com, French Contact, Neurosins, Paul Lanois and Take On On YouTube. You can also support the channel by clicking on the join button starting at $1 which include badges and custom emojis to use in the comment on my channel. See you soon drivers and thank you for watching.